Hi, welcome back to the lecture series on abstract legal theory. Today in this lecture, uh, we will discuss uh, Donali theorem. It's a uh, inverse of uh, Foglin's theorem, you can say. So the statement matter of Donali theorem is the Donali theorem. Suppose we had two sigma finite major spaces. Let X as mu and uh, Y sigma mu be two sigma finite major spaces. Be two sig sigma finite. You know, sigma finite major spaces. Sigma finite means that uh, this x can be written as uh, the countable union of sets of S such that the major of each set is finite. Okay, so it's a sigma. Both the spaces, both the both major spaces are sigma finite major spaces. And let let f be a function from x cross y to R. It's the real valued function. And this function is a uh, mu cross nu measurable b m mu cross nu it's measurable with respect to mu cross nu maybe okay it's mu cross nu measurable <coughs> mu cross nu measurable function if one of the iterator integral exists then other also then other will also exist and the function is mu cross nu is integrable that's the conclusion of this theorem so uh, if uh, one of the iterator integral if if one of the iterator integral if one of the iterator integral if one of the iterator integral uh, mod of f it's double integral okay uh, d mu d nu with respect to mu first then with respect to nu or this one double integral mod of f first with respect to nu then with respect to mu if one of these uh, iterator integral exist then uh, then this function f is uh, mu cross nu integral exist is uh, then then f is mu cross nu integrable then f is mu cross nu integrable and the other uh, other in iterative integral exist and and the other and the uh, And the other iterator integral exists, and uh, uh, we have the following: the integral of f over the product space is equal to this iterator integral f d mu d nu it's equal to double integral f d nu d nu both are equal <coughs> so jaise ki aapne fobnis theorem mein dekha wahan par aapne ye dekha ki agar function integrable hogi over product space तब ये जो दोनों इटरेटिव इंटीग्रल है ये एग्जिस्ट होगी और इक्वल होगी अब इस केस में आप क्या कर रहे हैं आप कह रहे हो कि अगर एक ही इटरेटिव इंटीग्रल एग्जिस्ट होगा तो फंक्शन इंटीग्रेबल होगी और देन यू कैन अप्लाई द फिबनीस थ्योरम अगर फंक्शन इंटीग्रेबल होगी तो दूसरा इटरेटिव इंटीग्रल भी एग्जिस्ट होगा और ये दोनों इक्वल होगी मगर इस केस में कंडीशन क्या है कि इस इस केस में कंडीशन ये है कि आपके जो मेजर स्पेसेस दोनों है वो दोनों सिग्मा फाइनाइट होने चाहिए फिबनीस थ्योरम में ऐसा नहीं है फिबनीस थ्योरम में 
uh, these uh, weighted spaces are arbitrary. But in this case, uh, in the Tonali's theorem, uh, the major spaces must be sigma finite major space. And uh, the, the, fu the function have to be uh, mu cross mu integrable. It's, uh, it's uh, only one requirement is uh, there. That's uh, this function f, one of the iterative integral exists only. Then other will automatically exist by Tomani's theorem. So let's uh, prove this theorem. We assume that our function f is uh, greater or equal to zero. So without uh, loss of generality, we can assume that other, otherwise we can take its positive and negative part. Okay, that's uh, that's not too difficult. Uh, you can take a uh, positive and negative part separately, then you can prove the result for the general function. So uh, without loss of generality, we can assume that the function f is non-negative. f of x strong y is greater or equal to zero. It's a non-negative function. For all x belongs to x, y belongs to y. It's a function, f is a function from x cross y cross. So this, uh, this function is measurable. So this f is measurable f is measurable f is measurable uh, so uh, by theorem 17.7 .7 on l prints by by this theorem by theorem 17.7 .7 on l prints okay by this theorem, you can see that uh, there exist by uh, theorem on L prints, uh, there exist such sequence. There exists such sequence. Uh, so we can psi n of simple functions of of simple functions on the product space x cross y because f is measurable on the product space such that this psi n f of x comma y it's greater or equal to zero and it increases to the function f of x comma y okay this is true for all x belongs to x y belongs to y so this you can decide it's not it's not a sequence of stress function it's a sequence of simple function but now uh, by using the sigma finiteness of both the major spaces we can construct the sequence of stress function and you know that uh, the difference between stuff and simple function so a simple function mein kya hota hai? iski jo representation hoti hai wahan par jo set text hote hai Unka major zoruri nahi ki wo finite hoga. But in case of stress functional, uh, aapki bhi jo representation hoga, summation, i run as a 1 to an ai, chi of ai, to wo jo sets hoga ai, unka major finite hona chahi. Us, to us case mein hum kahege ki ye uh, stress function. But here it's not a stress function, it's a sequence. It's, 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 a, it's a simple function. This sequence is a sequence of simple function. But we try to construct the sequence of stress function from this sequence of simple functions by using the sigma finiteness property of both the major spaces. Again, again, since, uh, since x s mu and y sigma nu are both sigma finite, are, don't sigma finite, are both sigma finite, one can easily verify that one can easily verify that this uh, major space x cross y mu cross mu and this uh, sorry it's uh, first uh, we have here uh, this uh, meaning set uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh, it's uh, which set it is uh, 
it's uh, s it's s that the sigma here okay make product to make it squeeze this s then the sigma then mu cross nu then one can easily verify that uh, the product space x cross y s that the sigma mu cross nu is also is also a sigma finite major space so since uh, this is a sigma finite major space so we can construct the sequence uh, of uh, sets a n thus thus there exists a sequence a n in this product space uh, s stands for sigma such that uh, it's increasing sequence a n subset of a n plus one and uh, the union of a n and runs from one to infinity is equal to x cross y with the condition that major of each set is finite mu cross nu of a n is finite for all n greater or equal to one so in other words you can say this union it increases to x cross y a n increases to x cross y that's uh, that is that is this a n increases to x cross y and major of set a n is finite for all n greater or equal to 1 okay it's a sigma finite space uh, so we can apply the definition here uh, of sigma finite space now let's define 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 fire a new sequence which is equal to psi n into characteristic function of a n. then fire is a sequence of psi is a sequence of uh, simple functions uh, uh, so uh, since uh, this psi n you can say don't need to write sequence uh, you can say p psi n since psi n is a simple function is a simple function therefore therefore this psi n it has the representation its i runs from say 1 to m so since we have here uh, n so i will write here n i okay i runs from 1 to m into characteristic function of b n i okay so uh, that's its representation uh, so therefore what will be now phi n it's a uh, psi n product kaya a n so uh, it's equal to uh, so this is uh, your psi it's psi n psi n is summation i runs from 1 to n so this is a uh, your psi n a n i into chi of b n i into chi a n I runs from one time and that's equal to summation I runs from one to n a n i into chi of uh, this will be a n intersection b n i so therefore phi n is a simple function but uh, we will see that this phi n is not only a simple function it's a it's also a step function so therefore phi n is a is a simple function is a simple function and and the major of the set b and i intersection a n is less than 
measure of this set an you can see it's here outer measure it's lesser or equal to mu of n but mu star of an is same as mu of an so this this intersection b and i intersection a n is such such so we can apply the monotone property of outer measure but outer measure of an is same as the measure of an because the mu star is the extension of mu and an is a member of the same meaning f stand for sigma and this is finite so therefore phi n is a step function is a it's a it's a simple function with this property the measure of a is set is finite this is true for all for all n greater or equal to Okay, uh, so uh, we have constructed this. You can solve step functions also, also since also since zero less are equal to sine of x y. So already we have seen this. This increases to f of x y. So this is non-negative so which, which which increases to f of x y. So this means that phi n will also be non-negative, uh, and it will also increase to f. So therefore. Therefore, zero less or equal to phi n x y increases to f of x y. So thus, we have a sequence of step function. You have to verify this one. Okay, this one that you have to verify. Thus, we have a sequence of step function is phi n x y such that that sequence is a non-negative sequence and it increases to f of x y. It increases to f of. Now, uh, uh, we will see that. Uh, the limit of the integral of phi and x y over the product space is finite so that will prove this f of x y it is an upper function and it, is a, it must be a then integrated function okay because we know that every non-negative integrable function is an upper function okay so uh, uh, we will see this is an upper function over the product space yes therefore this must be an integrable function uh, uh, so how do we do that uh, since uh, it's given that since the integral mod of f d mu d u this is same as double integral mod of f is same as f because f is non-negative function since so this is this exists this exists since so this exists this this Exists, okay. This exists. It's it's given in the statement. This means that uh, therefore, <coughs> therefore, uh, therefore for therefore for mu almost therefore for mu almost always. <coughs> always in the integral uh, first the, the the inner integral should exist the inner integral you can see the inner integral this integral f d mu x this integral exists for new almost always and then uh, then the integral of this function will also exist because uh, the iterative integral exists and this will define and and define is a a new integral function define is a new integrable because it's integral with respect to the major new exist is new integrable function now uh, from this uh, limit from from phi n x comma y which increases to f of x comma y from this it follows that it follows that it follows that it follows that, it follows that uh, the integral phi n x comma y with respect to the major mu this will increase to the integral integral f 
x y d because this file x y it increases to f of x y and f of x y is integrable with respect to the major mu so we can say this integral will increase to this okay so with respect to uh, the major mu we have this so you can say it's converges to f of x y and uh, you can see uh, the limit of the integral of f of x y will be equal to f x y d mu because this integral exists this function is integrable with respect to the major mu this uh, so you can see also integral with respect to the major mu and this increases to the function f so therefore the integral will increase to integral of f x y d mu f x y d mu this holds for all y for all mu mu almost all y okay this holds for a uh, holds for holds for mu almost mu almost all y now we can apply the Lebesgue dominated convergence theorem uh, so this, this uh, function is again a uh, mu integrable uh, so by uh, by Lebesgue dominated convergence theorem by Lebesgue dominated convergence theorem we have we write this integral first so we write this integral with respect to the product major it is the iterative integral because uh, the function phi is integrable uh, with respect to the product space and it is integral is equal to the iterative integral first with respect to y then with respect to x phi n x y d mu this this uh, this integral it increases to integral f x y d mu and that integral f x y d mu is mu integrable so you can say this weakens you can say this weakens this is the sequence of new integrable functions and it increases the integral f x y d mu which is also new integrable so that means uh, this sequence is actually less or equal to the function the integral of the function f x y d mu which is uh, which is new integrable so this sequence is actually dominated by the new integrable function so we can apply the Lebesgue dominated theorem so this will increase to this limit will be equal to the the integral of the limit of this sequence what's the limit of this sequence it's integral over x of f d mu d mu now we can see actually we have this sequence now we have this sequence now uh, we have this sequence integral phi in x y d mu it's over the space x here okay over the space x we have this sequence it is the sequence of new integrable functions and this sequence is increases to this function integral f x y d mu which is new integrable also therefore we can say this sequence is dominated because since the limit is increasing limit therefore each term of this sequence is less or equal to integral f x y d mu so that means this sequence that you have here this sequence is the sequence of new integrable functions and it is dominated by this function integral f x y d mu which is also new integrable so we can apply the Lebesgue dominated theorem you can say the limit here limit of the integral is equal to integral of the limit limit of integral integral of phi and x y d mu is equal to the integral of the limit of the limit of this integral of phi and x y d mu you can see here so on this side uh, on this side uh, uh, we have limit on this side limit of the integral is equal to integral of the limit but integral of the limit is integral fx f d mu which is finite eh? this one is finite so that means uh, the limit integral of phi n d 
the mu cross nu is finite and this phi n it increases to f of x y which is a non-negative function and measurable so which means that uh, f of x comma y is an upper function is an upper function and hence and it's mu cross nu integrable so when the uh, whenever the function is mu cross nu integrable uh, we can say that uh, we can apply the Fubini's theorem now so therefore therefore by Fubini's theorem both the both the iterator integrals both the iterator integrals exist and the value of the integral uh, sorry it's there f not uh, and the value of the integral f d mu cross nu it's equal to the value of the iterator integral f d mu d nu and that same as the double integral f d nu d that's the uh, end of this uh, Fubini's theorem so there are a lot of applications of uh, this Fubini's theorem uh, you can see this exercise uh, so let me write here exercise for you exercise uh, use Tonali's theorem use Tonali's theorem use Tonali's theorem uh, to verify that to verify that uh, use Tonali's theorem to verify that uh, this integral epsilon to R epsilon to R sin x by x dx is equal to the double integral 0 to infinity then integral epsilon to R e power minus xy sin x with respect to the variable x then you integrate it with respect to the variable y they are equal this holds for holds for all uh, 0 less than epsilon less than r by now using this by letting first we verify this by letting by letting this epsilon approach to 0 positive and R approaches to infinity verify that verify that uh, the integral 0 to infinity sin x by x dx is equal to pi by p so there are a lot of exercises on this page number 215 uh, you check this exercise okay is a very important exercise this is the application part of tonali's theorem so now uh, in the next uh, our next topic is the signer major that's our next topic signer major